In a world where NFTs are booming, this is Non-Fungible Talkin'. We cover drops, pack breaks, and fun stuff in the world of NFTs. Hey collectors, time for another NFT review. So in this one we're going to go through some free NFTs from a blockchain called Tezos. And it's from the oneof.com website. So if you go to oneof.com, you can sign up for an account and get some free NFTs. So if I log in, I'd already knew who I was. Over time, there's been a few different free NFTs you can get, primarily around iHeartRadio, but uh, the first one here is from the Grammys. And this one's actually free. So if you click on that, you should be able to claim it from here and then click claim. And we get a free NFT. So if we go over to view our collection, we can see that there's a new NFT in our collection. And I'll just play this one. I would say there's going to be a lot of these minted and I don't think they're really going to be worth that much, but they're kind of cool. So yeah, you can get that one. The one I got the other day was this one. Also a Grammys one. So I'll show you some of the other ones I've got. So this one is still available and it's from the Breakfast Club or depending on when you're watching this, of course. I think with the one of project, they'll keep doing drops for free because they want more and more people to come into it. But I reckon if you keep some of these for a really long time, you never know. They might be worth something. And you can see here, this is from the Breakfast Club, which is a radio program. Uh, some other ones I had from the iHeart Radio Music Festival. So with those you could get one a day and I didn't do it every day but I got a gold edition here which is somewhat more rare than the green. I don't think these are really going to be worth much but I like the Grammys one, I thought that was cool and you know it's free. It takes you two seconds to sign up. You don't need a MetaMask or anything else. You sign up with an online account. And I was surprised to see, particularly with the Breakfast Club one, that they are actually using IPFS for the storage of their NFTs for the images, that is. So for those that don't know, IPFS is a very good way of storing files so that if a website goes down, it won't affect the file and it's stored on the blockchain. For example, Board Ape Yacht Club are stored in IPFS and that allows holders to know that there's a bit more assurance that it should stay online because it is kind of a blockchain stored file. Anyway, check out oneof.com and you can see through the marketplace, they've got a notorious BIG coming up. Uh, most of these aren't going to be free. Some of them are low cost. So if we go to their marketplace, we can see what was being sold before. I like this one particularly. Some really cool uh, different ones. And these are all one of one. And uh, we go the low price on these. It's $50. I think it was slightly cheaper the other day. I don't know that I would actually buy these, but you know, they're pretty cool to look at. And if you are after a profile image, might be worth it. I'm actually looking at buying an NFT purely for that reason. So I can have a NFT as a profile image, but I'm looking to not spend too much on it. But you know, something like this is pretty cool. And yeah, you can go back and have a look at all the other ones that are sold. Uh, some of these are the from the Breakfast Club as well. So normally when they give away a free one, they also sell other ones. So these other Grammys ones were sold at the same time they released their first set. That's about it really. Check it out. Just log in and claim some free NFTs when you get an email about it. 
that's all I've been doing. And you can also sell the free ones you get on the marketplace. I don't know kind of the price range that people have been able to get for them, but it's worth a try. Uh, one thing to note too is with these, I, you can see here, this is actually closed, being able to get this one, but the edition hasn't been assigned, so I can't sell it yet. Not that I actually will anyway, I think I'll just keep it, but it can take some time for you to actually have the NFT minted to you. So I don't know what particular mint number I'll get with that one either, or how many mints there will be. But I would say there'd probably be in excess of 50,000 for this particular one, because the Grammys is pretty iconic, and it's probably had some really good advertising in other places. Anyway, I'll leave it there. As always, please subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.